This playthrough is rated T for teen. Time to find out who the true lord of this castle is. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Walter we're back here with another episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we've completed almost 100% of the castle. I went back and got uh, filled in the spots. I showed you where they were, so you're not missing anything. I basically just went there, got to the spots, came back. But before we uh, tackle Richter again with the goggles and actually pay attention to what the goggles have, let's grab a few items that we missed. Just... There's probably more, but these are the ones I'm immediately aware of. But anyway, there's a strength potion here. And there should be another item down this way that we missed before. Let's grab that. Because we couldn't get this without either the uh, uh, the specific boots or the bat form, which we didn't have for the last time. But anyway, we get a hammer here. Captain Hammer! Oh, we already had a hammer. Yeah, so. <clears throat> oh, well. But anyway, let's, uh, now we can go to the top of the tower, put on the goggles, make sure they do something this time. Actually, they did. We just chose to ignore it. Uh, yeah, we got, so we've seen the bad ending, or see, we've seen the worst ending and the bad ending of the game. So perhaps now we can get a regular ending this time. So, yeah, let's just head towards, uh, um, the center of the map so I can get to teleport. I guess I could just cut there, but I'm, I'm showing you my process at the time. Oh yeah, and apparently he says slice and flash every once in a while. The, so the sword is talking, it's just at the time I had trouble hearing him, so I was just kind of like, what is he saying? Whoops. Didn't mean to jump up there, so. Oh yeah, I guess I have to, uh, hmm. I guess I will have to cut it because I, I realize that the this isn't open right now. So, open right now, please. There we go. All right, so let's go into the chapel or whatever and uh, teleport there. Okay, sometimes he doesn't talk, but yeah, sometimes he'll say flash or strike. So he basically tries to pretend to be like a Arthurian knight or something like that. The only problem with the sword uh, familiar is that he has to basically get in a position and then attack. He does decent damage where he does, but the fact that he has to basically set himself up for it uh, makes him not immediately useful, at least on certain cases. Like, maybe bosses, he's probably more useful because of, of because of that, because a lot of bosses will just kind of stay in place. At least quite a few of them will. But for, like, smaller enemies that move around a lot, or if you're moving around a lot, then he's kind of, he's not as useful. Only could, uh... I'm really bad about doing the uh, charge attack on, on this. Because there is a... Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll try to be better at figuring it out on, on screen. Because I always, I always... I have like fat fingers or something like that. So, okay. Well, actually, even though my fingers aren't fat. But that's what they call... That's what piano teachers call students when they they have a... Uh, they can't like hit the chords properly. They, they say they have fat fingers. So... Or at least they used to. I don't know what they do anymore. There, let's teleport a couple times. Man, if only we could teleport to any location without without worry. If only. If only. Okay. So now, now that we're here, let's encounter Richter, and instead of just uh, destroying him every single time, let's uh actually help him out or at least see what that whole orb thing is about maybe it's what gives him his powers and if we defeat him regularly it won't uh he won't be such of a problem who knows yeah make sure you've got the eh, i guess i could use a cross i'm probably not going to use a sub weapon during the fight anyway just because the cross costs too much all right let's do it. yeah look at the map we've got it almost all completed all right time and we've got the goggles equipped so, let's do it. I'll probably just skip through his dialogue this time. Alright, there's the orb this time. So, yeah, we see his dialogue multiple times. It doesn't change, so... Now just keep striking it. What the? You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> 
Shaft, we killed you! We killed you! And Rondo Blood. What's this? A, 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 a castle below the castle? Is it Castleception? What's going on here? No. What have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. All right, time to head to the reverse castle, it seems like. Alright, so we are now in rever the reverse castle. So basically the whole castle has been flipped on its edge. So some of the rooms will now be obviously topsy-turvy. We'll have different enemies and a whole new map, to 100% map to fill out. What fun. But uh, it's assumed Richter can't come with us because of um, this all takes place within a night or whatever. So and he's too fatigued or wounded from the, the control that Shaft put onto him. So... Yeah, a bit of a twist that the Shaft's ghost, even though we killed him in the Rondo Blood, he somehow uh, um, came back. So, who knows how he came back. He just did, so. Yeah, so before we could, like... Yeah, this is why you need to have... Obviously, you have to have all these abilities. Yorick, I knew him well, Horatio. Yeah, we got resist fire here. So yeah, just kind of just take what you knew about the original castle and just like a oh, high potion. Just take what you knew from the original castle and just like flip it. Hopefully you you can you have that mindset. So resist stone, resist thunder. I'll probably not use any of that stuff. <laughs> just funny how there's just this uh, enemy called York. It's a reference to Hamlet for those who are curious. Oh yeah, and I've got to remember to actually fill out the map. Uh, we have to fill out the map again. Oh yeah, and I gotta go back and press that switch again. So yeah, every every single thing in this place has to be. So you're gonna be using bat form and um, and uh, uh, mist form quite a bit, or the boots. Let's see. Oh, it's already open. Never mind. For some reason I thought it wasn't open again, even though it's just a reverse castle. So. Yeah, I got a heart up. Yeah. Life up. We're gonna need that for some of the bosses in here, so. That royal cloak. Didn't even get to show it off, so let's take a look at that thing. Royal cloak, gorgeous blue cape. Gives you a bit more constitution and defense. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll equip it. Ooh, look at that. Actually, I like blue. Blue's my favorite color, so this works for me. Although, I, technically, I think red works better for Alucard with this color scheme, but I prefer blue. Even though I'm not an artist, I can see red works better for Alucard. Man, get all these ups. And we also got a bastard sword. Why are you always such a bastard? Anyway, just like saying that. Ah. That's, oh. So yeah, it's basically, I mean, I guess I can't say it's exactly the same thing as before. It's obviously different, but um, the, the previous map, so. It's just a little bit weirder because all the stuff that we would have been easy to get to, hard to get to in the previous map is now really easy to get to. And the stuff that was easy to get to is now hard because of everything. Hey, that guy's smiling now. Look at him. The, uh, the mask there. Yeah. Well, okay. And there are some common enemies here, but there are a few, quite a few new enemies around here, so... Yeah, some places won't have rewards, but I'm doing it for, to fill out the map at this point, so. So, 
some of the some of the episode will be me kind of just going through every area. Um, this might not take me as long to do this this uh, area of the of the map because of uh, um, we have now all the resources to 100 percent the map now. Unlike before, yeah. See, the bat has the blue wings now instead of the purple one before because we have a out cards cape change. No, just this game does have a. Like I said, I have my problems with this game, but it's not gameplay and music and other things are not not are not one of them. It's more of a concept that I have the issue with it more than anything. You know, the whole. I almost don't call this a. Ca I almost don't consider this a Castlevania game because of how different it is from the other Castlevania games, but you're probably saying to yourself, well, how can a series ever uh, evolve if you never, if you always stick with the same formula? I don't know, that's always the tough quandary, because sometimes some games will just take such a drastic turn that you're like, uh, this isn't even in the same game anymore at this point. Like, series, you know, like, whether it be character. Yeah, do I want to go? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter in the long run, so... Either way. Yeah, an interesting idea to just basically make the castle, uh, have, you have to go through the castle again, but instead of in for other games where you just backtracking for like whatever stupid reason, this game actually just has you go through an, an inverse castle, which is a nice little twist, because it's never been done before. I, actually, I don't think it had been done before. I'm trying to remember if there had ever been a situation where he had an invert. Actually, let me go and save it, actually, just in case. Also, just in case power outages and stuff like that, so I don't have to record everything all over again. But I'm trying to think if there were there ever was a game where you had to backtrack. Usually, in like games like Metroid, if you backtracked, it was, uh, um, it was just to areas you couldn't access before, so. All right. Yeah, I'm just kind of filling out everything before. Oh yeah, and I think, uh, ooh, we got a new a mail here, the lightning mail. Uh, guess what it does? Makes you strong against lightning. Who knew? Uh, okay. And yeah, unfortunately, it's unless you're going against very specific enemies or bosses, the block armor is pretty much the thing I'm going to equip for the rest of the game. Just because there's no reason to, to equip. Uh, oh yeah, I technically don't need the... Uh, uh, do I really need the intelligence boost? Probably not. Just seeing if there's any really any weapons I could. I probably should. Oh yeah, let's look at the bastard sword. The bastard sword. Um, uh, standard sword. Yep, that's pretty much it. I also ended up getting some pizza. <laughs> New York style from a frog randomly dropped it. Uh, while I was uh, trying to get back to that one spot to fill it out. I'm trying to do the. I'm trying to do the. There we go. I'm just trying to figure out which order, like which order I want to go through the levels on. Probably should just start from the left and go go on till from there. Yeah, that's probably that's probably a good way to go. I mean, there's really no set method at this point. We're basically trying to find out how to get through this castle and beat Shaft again, or at least it seems like, or whoever, you know. <laughs> now we can CD. We can still read the CD load. What the? Right to a boss. Yeah, man bat or whatever you want to call him. Darkwing back. Darkwing duck! Uh, actually. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but. Maybe because I learned my intelligence, but. It's almost doing like no damage to me, really. I'm too high a level at this point, or defense. So. And no, you don't have to 100% the map to get to this point. Uh, so, you know, you could have lower levels. I think there's also... I think you have to beat the game. Hey, anyway, we get the Ring of Vlad for doing this. Um, I think there's an item... There's either armor or item you can get um, that... Uh, um, one of five treasures, plus ten intelligence. Nice, so we can do a better... We can, our spells and relics will do... Our um, sub-weapons will do more damage, so... There's our. I haven't showed my stats in a while, so that's what my stats are at. So, and no, I won't. I won't hit. I won't go to max 99th level because that's pointless in this game. It's overkill. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I was trying. I was trying to think what I was gonna say. 
Lost track of my lost track of things. Whoa! Yeah, see how there are some differences. Not a complete copy. Probably need to swap out. Even if that thing fell on top of me, all it'll do is a decent amount of damage. But that's it. It wouldn't uh Yeah, no, if if the if the whole place had been completely the same enemies just reversed, it would have been very, very boring. I am very glad that they did not do that. They could have easily done that just to uh, pat, uh, pat out the runtime in the series. All right, if we go through here, yeah, we get a moon rod. Hey, Red, the moon's out. All right, let's take a look at that. Moon rod. Rod with lunar markings. Okay. I mean, it's basically just a rod. But, yeah. Okay. Anyway, stick with the combat knife just because I've... Do more damage. Although if I use the Alucard sword, wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad option either, just because of how fat and speedy it is. Not as speedy as the combat knife, but it has a bit more range. So take that bomb knight. You actually look like Bomb Man from uh, from, from the Mega Man, you know, which I mean makes sense. That is a weirdly specific uh. Or, uh, trap, just like, eh, I don't have enough room to really do anything, but if you fall for my trap, well, you've got no one to blame but yourself. I would feel very bad for someone who fell for this trap, but no one, you can't, yeah, see, I just take a ton of damage, but that's it. Ooh, nice level. We'll probably be getting a few levels now. Aha! Uh -huh. I was actually hoping I'd be able to get it. I could have if I'd, uh, um, uh, Sw uh, like uh, swapped, or I could have swapped a mist form, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm uh, filling out the map while I'm here. So I'll probably, I'll probably still end up having to come back and, and refill out uh, bits of the map I missed before. From oops. Uh, well, yeah, the cross just costs too much to use on a regular basis. It doesn't even do enough. To my intelligence is too low since I never, I never went back and redid the the boss fight at the beginning of the game to uh, max out my stats. So I could have, but you know what? This game doesn't really need you to min max. Now we got to do enemy, the cloak fire, which dies a couple bits because of our level. All right, and if we destroy that, we get over here. Uh, the clock tower definitely looks interesting with uh, with flipped over, you know. Yeah, it, it's kind of interesting when you see, like, something from a different point of view. It definitely has an interesting uh, style. And, yeah, since they straight up flipped it, there's some of the, the pathways don't make sense because you're like, well, that's normally not how it would be built. But because we're just flipping it, you know, it's going to be the... Uh, it's just going to be... Uh, um, the platform would be weird. Let's just say that. So, all right, just making sure I'm... Fill oh, I have to drop a little bit further. Kill this guy first. Just he's a... Ooh. All right. Yeah, just made sure I got that because of a. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. I don't know why. I I just I for some reason I have a lot of trouble doing those uh, those uh, abilities. Like I said with. Final Fantasy Seven, Seven. So I almost didn't. Even though I like Seven, I almost didn't use him very often because he was. Uh, ooh, we got Flambert in front of this guy. Let's take a look at the weapon. Flambert, a two-edged sword. Oh, not bad damage, but I also got the to deal with. Yeah, I didn't get the double jump. Uh, stone turn. Oh, well. It's not like I'm trying to get stoned or anything like that, you know. Drugs are bad, food. Actually, the non- the uh, high- or the petrified resistance stuff wouldn't be a bad idea here just because of uh, how often the uh, heads appear at this point. Uh-oh, run- upside- uh, upside down running water? That's a vampire's worst nightmare. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. Uh, I have to... I forgot I have to hit the... I have to hit the... Now they're insta-hitting me with that. Use it before I could semi-resist it, but... Yeah, I forgot I gotta hit the cogs again. 
Okay, that's good. Oh my god. Good thing they do like no damage to me. This is ridiculous. Actually, pretty, pretty annoying actually too. Was there, let's see, what is the... Okay, I guess I was in on that. I didn't realize I grabbed salts. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> I think there's a splash ability. Could just turn into mist, I guess. Let's see, I hit that one. And then I hit this one. Oops. That's right, that's not considered a, uh, a uh, stepping splash. Oh, I like that form where he's just stoic. Let's see, don't I? I thought I had some armor that like prevented like maybe I don't. I, I could have swore I had a a stone resist. Oh, there it is. Mirror or was it the mirror? Curious. Yeah, mirror curious. So that way they won't keep stoning me every five seconds. I mean, I still take damage. There we go. Well, I take damage because this is weaker than the uh, other armor. Which I mean, unfortunately, means I'll get knocked back. Okay, so and then the other one was back here, I believe. Yeah, here's where the Medusa start getting annoying again. Actually, they've always been annoying. It's just in this game they weren't as bad because of the whole RPG mechanics. But now in these rooms where there's just a million things going on at once, it's insane. Oh my god! Stop. This is where the challenge comes in now. It's not even. It's nickel and diamond me to death. I could do dark metamorphosis on some of these guys to get some healing back. Okay, there's that one. Oops. Should be the last one, yeah. Oh, come on. How many more times do you have to do? I, I forgot. Some of, some of them I forgot you had to hit them quite a few times before. Uh, before. Man, that was ridiculous. That was all of them, right? I think it was just the two rooms. Yeah. Okay. Thought so. I thought it made a noise when you when you hit them all, but maybe I missed it or something. There we go. Diamond, life apple, and a sunstone. Let's take a look at those. Sunstone, improved status after sunrise. Right now it's still sun uh, sunset, so we can keep we can keep this one on. But we can now switch to the other stone. If it ever if the time in the game ever changes to a certain point, we can now uh, swap to that to uh, keep our stats up. So that's nice. Now. Now okay, let's get rid of these guys again. Well, I swapped it because I was like, well, I'm, a, I'm almost out of this area anyway, so. Just drop down. Okay. Yeah, I forgot there's a few f different forms or variations of what Alucard stones, depending on, like, when he, like, how he falls and everything like that. Like, there's stoic looking uh, um, version of him, but there's also a couple other versions of him as well. And. Uh, Try to think what okay. There's there's like one where he's stoic and just standing straight still. There's the one where he's like on his side. There's one where he turns into like a dragon or something like that. If I think I think it, I forgot. I don't know if it has to be stoned if you double jump. Um, it might be it might be just one of the variations of when you when you're stoned when you're jumping that type of thing. Ooh, got a S oh we already have an S stock. So oh well. I always keep hoping I'll I'll get more of the random uh, random drops of weapons in the game, just uh just to show them off. All right, we get a dragon helm here. Let's uh, equip that. Uh, frightens enemies, but lowers defenses, lowers defense. So it gives you it gives you a bit more attack and strength. It says lowers defense, but it doesn't straight up lower your defense in the stat range. So I'm not quite sure how much extra damage you take from that. Some some things I'm not I haven't actually. Like looked at the coding in the game to actually 
sh tell you like what is um, what does and doesn't do certain things because there are certain things in the game that um, uh, that will do say sames but because of it's the PlayStation version of the game it doesn't actually do it properly if that makes sense there's quite a few games like that back in the old day because translation wasn't perfect or when they translated it, they, they did something in the code to accidentally um, muck it up. Anyway, here we get a Luminous Strength Potion and Smart Potion for this spot. And yeah, it's because they either, or either that or the people who coded it in Japan didn't code it properly and made a mistake and the translators were like, oh, well, okay, we have to say what it does even though it's not actually portrayed properly. You know? Let's finish this spot. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the sword. Luminous. Uh, for a sword forged by elves. Uh, a little bit better damage, but still not as fast. But I can show it off. I could try to... I could, since they guys don't do any damage to me, I could try to get the, um, the dragon form. If I can do it right. Oop. Yeah, I keep getting the, uh... Yeah, I'm not really getting it in my favor. Oh, well. Oh, I'm taking quite a bit of damage. Hmm. Okay, that's Phil, so... I don't think there's anything else actually in here, so... Well, I'll try again later. I said I'm not in a very good spot because of all that damage I took from before, so... We're just gonna, uh... Oops. How about I actually stay in, stay in my form at this point, so... The bot's full of... Na 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 bat form. Bat form. Bat form. There. Right. I wonder if anyone here has actually watched the old Adam West uh, Batman or not. People call it very cheesy by today's standards, and it's true, but it was actually quite entertaining. I mean, th technically the show is actually before my time, but I watched it on reruns on TV back in the day when TV was a very big thing. TV is not as big as it used to be, um, obviously. People still watch it, but that's more like certain people who grew up with that type of thing, so they watch it out of like a habit, like my folks. Um, I don't really watch TV much anymore, to tell you the truth. It's kind of weird, even though there's probably still stuff on TV worth watching, but not very much. And obviously, I don't want to pay the cable bill and internet bill and all this other stuff. No, thank you. I've already got enough stuff to buy or pay for. We will not be paying that, thank you very much. Okay. Just making sure everything's full. Alright, All right, I need to find... Let's see... Oh, I should have... You know what? I should have, uh... Crap. Um, I forgot to unlock the, uh... The, uh, teleporter there. Shoot. <laughs> I just realized that. I realized I didn't unlock the teleport for that section. So, great. Well, I have to walk back that way anyway, eventually, so. Still, uh, that was that was a bad call on my part. Whoops. Yeah, probably the people watching are like, what are you doing, dude? I'm like, I'm trying to give myself an uh, extra challenge. Yeah, that's it. Shh. Don't, don't bring this up to anyone else. <laughs> no, yeah, save it. Well, I guess I don't have to save it, but, yeah. All right. I mean, I could always switch to the Blood Cape if I want to reduce my damage and let, let lose my hearts in the process since I haven't been using as much sub-weapons. I feel like unless you get really high intelligence or a way to buff your intelligence, um, sub- uh, you get a Garnet here. Sub-weapons become not as useful in some cases. I mean, they'll get you a little extra damage, but what the? Can't destroy the Gold Skull! Whatever shall we do? Uh, I actually don't remember how to actually destroy the Gold Skulls. I know you can. I'm just trying to remember how you actually do it. Uh, no, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just... Uh, there's that... Uh, I guess the guy's hanging upside down still, huh? If only we could get outside. Hmm. I guess we can't leave the castle, huh? But, alright. Let's see, is this the other... Say spider. No, that's the way to the library, which I mean, I do want to go into. Go see what uh, see what this version, this place's version of the librarian is. Jack of Bones, huh? Ow. 
Ow. Jack of Bones, Jack of Bones. Oh, I guess it's just a variation. Oh, Stone Cold. Oh, no, that's the other. Never mind. I guess they're all just variations on the Jack of Bones, I guess. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Who's your favorite Skelly Man character in, in uh, gaming? Or just in general. Gotta go with Skeletor, man. He's the, he's, well, he's not the OG. Who is the, I wonder who would be the OG in terms of entertainment. Probably some random fantasy book with a, like, a lich monster character or something like that, I bet. I'll admit I haven't read all, all fantasy fiction, so. Uh, all right, that's the, oh, wait, no, this is the live, library. Okay. Just trying to remember where all the. Locations are now, even though I just went to all of them, so. Oh, you're right. That one's the teleport. Right. God. Why do I keep forgetting the, tel the teleport like locations? Even though I've had to use them all the time. <laughs> I guess sometimes my mind gets on a certain track and uh, it easily gets uh, divvied from it. Yeah, I want to go through this so I can unlock the, the teleport. Right. There we go. Oh, and the way the teleport works, as you can see, we have to go up to it. But since we haven't found any other teleports, we can only teleport to this location. So, oh well. Nice of the castle to give me a way to access it, even though it probably shouldn't have, because aren't I a villain of the castle, technically? And yeah, because of the way the elevator works, I haven't found the switch yet, so. There's kind of something funny about just hearing the random sword go, you know, slice, splash. Too bad he doesn't do any other ability to say anything else, though. At least not that I'm aware of, anyway. Enchant. Shotard. No, oh, well. I wonder who did the voice for him, actually. In the English. Whoops. My controller went wonky. Yeah, if I ever start walking forward for, like, no reason, it's because my controller disconnected. Or I'm walking around like a drunk. You know, it is 3 o'clock somewhere, so. Keep attacking the skull, man. Something will happen. I know it. Just keep doing it, man. Definition of insanity. Actually, I don't think that's the actual. People say that's the definition of insanity, but I think it actually is something else. But people keep saying it is. Wow. Okay, fine. Oops. I meant to turn the mist. So that way I can just go past you. So you won't keep knocking me into the freaking thing. I'll grab that really quick. Let's finish this this spot out before we before we go. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to finish off the if I want to go and do the library or if I want to unlock all the other teleports first, and then yeah, there's Big Bone Daddy over there. There's no one there, dude. What are you doing, man? Yeah, good thing we have a decent amount of magic. And that's the other connecting spot here, so. We're in that area now? Sorry if I don't recall the exact name of each place every single time. We've been there before, though. Yeah, and I do like how by fl uh, swip, uh, flipping the um, flipping the uh, what the is he attacking us with his with his dongle? Yeah, sort of. The Nova skeleton. Yeah, he's Nova blasting us. He's Dragon Ball Zing it over here. Didn't expect to see that in my uh, Castlevania, huh? No, that was a dagger. Don't need to do that. Nova blast. Hearing a skeleton doing calling out like an anime attack. Something very silly about that. No, no. Another hard up. Yeah, depending on how things go, we'll probably end up filling, uh, or filling out a lot of that stuff rather quickly. Like getting all these bonuses, getting our stats up really fast. Huh. Look at the outside world over there. Oops. Yeah, no telescope this time, as you can see. And no, you can't sit on you can't sit on the chair as much as you'd like to. 
So, oh well. Yeah, I can't do a lot of fun, certain things anymore. Now that we've got a place to swap. Yeah, take a take a look at my crotch rocket. Uh, no, thank you, dude. Not not uh, uh, no, not today. No, no, no. Okay, let's miss through that. Oops. All right, here we get the shuttle and hammer. All right, let's take a look at the shuttle. Uh, uh, Abys uh, Abyssinian curved sword. So, yeah, let's show it off really quick. A little bit slower, unfortunately, than the, than the. But yeah, cool. I mean, yeah, you could do a, you could do like a, kind of a, a how how will you play through the game type of situations. Like, ooh, do you want to go through the game with just the shodel, which is impossible because you can only get the shodel here, uh, as far as I'm aware of. I mean, there might be a way to get certain weapons to drop early, so, uh, just trying to think I want to go through the bot. I'm almost thinking about, yeah, holding off on going through, like, the library and stuff like that and waiting to unlock um, the teleports, so that way I can just go back to those areas and explore those later, so. Alright, let me go. I'll go through this way. What awaits us? Uh oh. Looks like a big fella here. All right, let's do it. All right, against the creature. Yeah, they actually they actually label him right this time. Instead of calling him a Frankenstein, he's actually called the creature or the monster. You could also call him a monster. Ah. Yeah, he's not gonna do a ton of damage to me. He likes rolling, 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 roll tide. Actually, I have no idea what that what that's about. At least we can still hit him while he's doing that. Ah, that's... Yeah, see, the sword can be useful if it's just as long as it... As long as uh, we're stuck in a small area. Anyway, here we get the Tooth of Vlad for uh, for beating the monster, or the creature, I mean. Let's take a look at that. The a Ring of Vlad, so Tooth of Vlad now raises our strength by 10. Now, if you want to give yourself more of a challenge, right, you could turn all that stuff off. You know, the, the bonuses, so that way, for those of you who are like, oh man, it's getting too, I'm getting too powerful now. I want to have a bit more of a challenge in this game. Um, so yeah, you can turn those off if you don't want that bump. That bump so. I'm just going to leave them on, because why not? Alright, let's get at this area. Parenthropus. Parenth that should be enough. Yeah, that connects those rooms. Okay. Yeah, connect those two together. And then let me uh, go back up here and go through that room. Okay. So now on to the, on to this place, the other place with the things. Actually, I don't know why I had to kill it. I've already fought in a lot of these things before, so. It's almost like, yeah, the problem with, like, this game and the strength and whatever is that enemy placement needs to, has to change different from Castlevania. But I feel like the people who made this game didn't really, like, really think about, like, enemy placement at this point. Because in the original Castlevania, enemy placement was important for the purposes of challenge and overcoming each section or, I wouldn't say stage board. I think they called it a board back in the day where it was each. Uh, and so enemy placement was actually important. You know how skeletons would, well, like throwing skeletons would be at a very specific spot. So if you were jumping over a ledge, if you weren't paying attention, that bone would hit you and you would die. Thus interesting enemy placement. But in this game, they kind of just, it seems like they just kind of throw enemy or enemies just all willy nilly sometimes. There might be other areas that are better designed than others, but that's just one thing I've, ouch. That's just one thing I've noticed with this game. So yeah, and all the unlocks are already unlocked, so. So a lot, well, some stuff we had to redo, other stuff we don't, so. Anyway, we get an iron ball, which is uh, that throwable weapon. I think I've run into that before, ow. Wow, I thought I jumped, I thought I pressed the button fast enough. I should have just, uh, um. Yeah, the ball, we've gotten it before, because it's in my inventory. But it's the, uh, it's the, uh, uh, yeah, plate lords, that uh, ball. I guess I should just transform it into a bat or something like that, so. Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah, once again, you get nickel dime to death. Ow. And you can see where they're at. So it's not like it's not like a, it's a secret. They're like just hiding in the in the whims of uh, the wings. You know, an eagle. Ah. Oh, I thought I got hit again. So. Ooh. Can I that room? Here we get a meal ticket. That's the one where you can, if you use it, it just. Uh, I think it randomly. I forgot which which like beats or whatever it produces, but I can't produce a random food item for you. Okay, since I've already hit all those. Oops. Yeah, there's there's definitely a different feel from going through this uh, uh, level at an alternate alternate way. It feels like the levels aren't as. Uh, Flame star. Ooh, oh crap! I forgot he does like a ton of damage to you when he actually hits you. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to think what I want to want to eat. I guess I could just do a potion because I think you can buy those so, from the. Unfortunately, you do have to go back. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how much damage did that guy do again? Like 133. Yeah, I should have. I should have. Okay, one of the few times the dagger would have been very useful to have here. Just because of that. So. Or the, actually, I might keep the clock. Actually. Sometimes, depending on how you transform, you'll straight fall unless you transform again. All right, let's see. This will take us downwards. Um, I might be going about this all wrong in terms of like how I'm moving through the levels t to be more efficient. Hmm. Well, like I said, as long as I find the teleports, I can uh, get to these back pretty pretty quickly. I try to remember. I think. Oh right. Put that uh, back on. Right, where'd you put the? Uh, there it is. Oh yeah, I got a flame star from earlier. So yeah, it's a flaming shuriken that does a decent amount of damage. I'm trying to remember. I don't think there's a ton of story stuff here. Actually, there's like a couple scenes that are story based, but this whole a lot of this area is just kill uh, going through the castle again in a reverse. So. So don't expect any like major cutscenes to occur. Like I said, I think there's like one or two, I think, or something like that. But it's all about just. Intently, I don't have to go through the whole castle again. We're only looking for a very specific place. But but I want to I want to fill it out. So uh, I'll keep the uh, watch. Okay. Life max up. And another diamonds here. Diamonds are forever. Diamonds, that'll shut her up. No. <laughs> uh, just reminds me of an old, old joke. Although diamonds technically aren't that rare, it's because of the uh, like blood diamond industry or whatever that it's uh, fall. It's um, well the industry itself. Uh, ooh, yeah, you hear balloon pods. Yeah, when you're destroying, they pop into multiple different small ones. Uh, if, if they hit you, they'll ju uh, they'll fall on you. Uh, I think they do some damage and prevent you from jumping, I believe. Whoops. Dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. I mean, it is annoying to have to destroy all those like, little mini ones, so why not? Although you can technically, if you're good, just, just run past them. I've got a decent amount of magic, so... Do I still have that one piece of armor on? No, okay. I was just double checking. Eh, yeah, we'll keep the clock for now. And yeah, I didn't know I could just miss for him, really. I mean, I only have so much magic, but still. Yeah, now going up towers uh, and down towers is a little bit more obnoxious to do. Oops. I guess I just poison you. Never mind. Uh, 
I must be thinking of a different game when it comes to that. So let me switch to the fairy really quick. Thank you. I mean, I could have used a potion, but since I've got the... Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, let's stick to the sword card. Why not? I, I was saying the sword card isn't... Well, actually, it is only more useful in bosses, so I could switch it when I get a... Uh, let's switch to the demon. I'm a freaking demon. And right, that one's the one that has us go back. I'll go back that way eventually. Let's see. Well, that's that one's kind of far away from a teleport. But it's easier to go down than it is up, so we'll just keep going up for now. Okay. Watch out for those shiitake mushrooms, man. They'll, they'll get you. Let's go this way first. There, there we go. And that should... The only problem is having to float up. So similar, I was just like, wait a minute, did I, did I go in the same room again? Yeah, I actually forgot how strong, how powerful the Nova skeletons were if they actually hit you with that beam. I mean, it is a Dragon Ball attack, so why not, right? It makes sense. It just works. But that doesn't work. If I only get money. Squid thingies. Yeah, it shouldn't take me too long to, to actually complete this part of the tower now that we have every single ability. It's really just grabbing stuff I, I might have accidentally uh, passed over while running through the levels to get the attention. Yeah. Weren't, weren't there a bunch of meal tickets here in the previous, uh, uh, the last time I came here was all meal tickets? Or am I misremembering? Even though it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, there's the nightmare room. But there's some peanuts on the ground. Yeah, we don't have to go through the nightmare again. That was the only story bit for that, so. Yeah, an interesting uh, story bit for the purposes of learning about, you know, um, Alucard's past a bit, like what happened to his mom. I mean, all, for all my faults of the, the animated series that they did, um, I, mean, they did a, I thought they did a good job with uh, the whole, at least the first episode, anyway, with uh, Dracula and, like, you know, how would, a, how would a woman have learned to love Dracula, the Lord of Darkness, you know what I mean? Although, I think the problem is they, well, I don't know if I'd say it's a problem, per se. They didn't make her, they tried to make her like this super scientist character, but obviously in the original story, she was just a, you know, uh, a woman who loved her, who loved Dracula and loved her son and all that, but they tried to, they tried to make her something more than she was originally in the games. I guess there's nothing wrong with that, it's just... Sometimes if you do it too much, it can take away from the importance of what the character was. You know, uh, like, you know, mother characters in general, for example, they're important in their way because they're, you know, nurturing, caring, and all this other stuff. Um, and they have a, uh, you know, an effect on us as children. So if you have a loving family, you know, you might be a more loving person because you had care and attention given to you. Not saying you can't learn it later, I'm just saying it helps. So, you know, but, uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's one of those things where you're just like, was that really necessary? You know? But whatever. Like I said, it's, it's more of a nitpick than anything. I'm looking at it from more of a story standpoint and, like, keeping to the lore of a series, if that makes sense. You know? Now, obviously, there's adaptations, and you can slightly adjust stuff to work for uh, maybe the st type of story you're trying to tell. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm just trying to clear clear air while we're while we're going through this place you know talk about the game and series and all the stuff like that so now oh, let's see uh let us yeah i'll probably have to use the staff again wait did i 
No, I have the clock. Of course, every time I go to a spot where I need to hit the uh, hit the ceiling, I don't grab I don't grab a weapon that can uh, hit the or I don't grab a sub weapon that can hit things. There we go. Uh, let's yeah, let's go let's go in this room first. Wait, where did I put the? Uh, now where did I put the? Uh, uh, crap, we got too much crap. That's the problem. That's another problem with RPG games is just all the crap you get that you don't need. Nine, nine times out of ten, most of the items in the game are actually kind of worthless. Especially when you get to a certain point. Like, if you're better at gameplay, like if you're used to, like, maybe the old Castlevanias or whatever, or you're, you've mastered this gameplay here, there's almost no reason to... Yeah, we got a new version of the uh, corpse weed or whatever, the Venus, blue Venus weed. So... Now we get to drown backwards. But why can't I... Uh, why can't I... Turn to bat form in the uh, in the water. Whatever shall I do? Well, if you turn into wolf form and press triangle, you can actually um, uh, swim through the water. So that's that's how you're supposed to be able to um, get through the water without being able to turn into uh, bat or uh, or mist form. Oh, we also got a new enemy, cave troll. Oh yeah, I need to uh, need to remind myself to kill it again for the purposes of. Uh, uh, Dark Metamorphosis. I haven't had to use that in a while. Did the plant girl also bleed, or was it just the cave troll? Huh. Okay, they... Okay, let me see if I can... Oops. I hate when I do that. What the? Did the cave troll not... Uh... There we go. Did he not... Uh, did he not turn to stone? What's going on here? Or did he not... Uh, 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 freeze in time? This game, man. This game's doing weird things. But anyway, let's uh, transform to wolf form so we can. Uh, oops. Mainly so we can complete the complete the map. So. Okay. Yeah, you pr press triangle. Basically, the wolf swims. If that makes sense. So that's why we wanted the skill of the wolf ability is so we could actually swim in the water. You don't need it for the first part of the of the place because. You can just double jump through the water or whatever, but here you actually do need to swim to be able to um, complete the map. Otherwise, you won't be able to. Well, actually, that's not completely true. But there are certain areas that are easier if you can swim than than if you can just du straight up double jump because you slow down in the water. So sometimes with the jump, you might not be able to make it. And unfortunately, to complete the map, you have to like crawl. You almost have to like crawl on the ceiling on some of these places just to make it. You know what I mean? It's a little, a little annoying, I'll admit. So yeah, I guess I can make it with just jumping. It's just, you know, if you have the wolf form, it just makes it easier. See, like here, for example. Yeah, the wolf has a use here. Yeah, unfortunately, because of the way the inverted tower, uh, inverted um, castle works, the wolf isn't as useful here because a lot of the stuff on the ceiling isn't, isn't flat. Or the way the ceilings work aren't aren't as straightforward. So, man, when did cave trolls become so so dangerous? I mean, they're they're pathetic in real life. <laughs> Just like real trolls. Yeah, sorry. It's, it, yeah, I know it's kind of boring. Just watching me like fill out the map. So, what can I do? Ow! Ow! Stupid troll. Made fun of my mom. I'm gonna get you for this. Yeah. I, I I'll never understand people falling for trolls or, or letting them get to you. It's like, dude, it's some random person on the on the internet. Like, words aren't supposed to hurt. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, here we get Echo Force of Echo. Eh, it's an okay ability. Uh, let me show it off. Force of Echo. Attack with the radar wave. So if you turn into bat form, you can actually hit people with the, with your Echo now. Well, I guess it's easier for castle or castle uh, candle grinding. Yeah, see, it does some damage. I wouldn't call it the most effective way to attack creatures, to tell you the truth, but it's something. Yeah, yeah one of the few areas that grinding on the, on the ground does work. I wish there was more areas that let you just like run through it as, as the wolf form. At least through a whole area, just for fun. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess I've got to transform here. Okay, so maybe I'm not 100% aware of every single good good spot for transformations. Ow. Oh yeah, and also going through the water, you have really you. If you get hit through the water, you don't really have much control when it comes to that. So, but if you're jumping through the water, you can. All right, let's go this way now. I mean, it's still a cool. What the? Yeah, the doppelganger makes a reappearance. So, from what I understand, oh, oh, okay, maybe he has random abilities. I could swear his abilities are based off um, what you're equipped with, like in terms of defense and stuff like that. Like if you go in with like no armor, for example, um, he'll have no armor, so you can do a lot more damage to him. But you also have no armor too. I believe that's how it's supposed to work. It's been forever since I've really looked up this stuff when I was younger. So far, I've done a pretty good job of killing the doppelganger. So he even dies the same way you do too. All right. Yeah, he was easy. He kind of. He acts like he flails his abilities around. Does that make sense? Where he's just like trying to... It's like playing a fighting game where someone tries to keep doing the trip attack all over and over and over again. You're like, uh, do you know how to do any other moves? Actually, I'm one of those guys that does that because I actually don't... I'm not very good at fighting games. I like playing them, but I don't, I'm not good at... Them. I could never do competitions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, he was like trying to press all the buttons to get all his abilities to activate or something like that. And that's why he lost because he couldn't stick to what he wasn't playing or whatever. What the? Ah! Look at all these things. Look at these Cthulian horrors. Yeah, let's see if we can actually. Dark octopus. Yeah, yeah, not a very good spot. Yeah, maybe, maybe that kind of thing is better here. Yeah, fortunately with these guys, ah, I could use. This me here. I need to kill one of them at least. I have enough magic. I believe, yeah, the dark echo doesn't actually, or the echo attack doesn't actually use magic, so you can kind of do that over and over and over again. Yeah, let's, uh, let's actually activate the clock. Ah, oh, come on! He's in the right spot. Look how much damage it takes to kill these guys. Yeesh. I mean, he still can do more damage as Alucard himself, but yeah, these guys are kind of hard, uh, annoying to fight just because of the their ability to uh, um, keep hitting you with tentacles and their dark attacks, or their um, ink attacks, or whatever you want to call it. So. Actually, I don't even know why I'm, I'm killing them. I don't need to do that. You know, now I need to do it out of, out of, out of, a, out of a sense of obligation, you know what I mean? These creepy things are just hanging around here, causing trouble. That the octopus's worst enemy. I knew it. I was wondering what the good bats were for. Now I know. Yeah, it gave us some experience for a level, so I guess I can't can't call that a fail. Now we get some green tea from these guys. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to do that, but you know, I I, I had a sense that I needed to do it for some sense of something. Sense. 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 Does that make sense? More of them? Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll won't do that again. I don't know. That, oh, that only gets interesting for a second, so. Actually, let me just use the clock again. I should have just done that. I don't know why I was, I don't know why I was being pig-headed about it. I had the perfect eye. Wait, did you just run? What the heck? Is that the type of enemy you guys are? No? Okay. Oh, huh. Okay, I guess he's just gonna keep doing that. Never mind, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, if we go in this room, we get the dark blade. The dark blade! Uh, you gotta say it like that, by the way. Let's take a look at it. Dark blade. Dark blade. There it is. Dark blade. Sword forged by elves. They're both forged by elves. Um, they're supposed to be, I think it might be this, but yeah, look at the damage it does. Um, there's supposed to be a combination you can do with certain weapons that, like, I don't know if it's this weapon specifically, but there's a certain type of... 
I'll have to look it up. There's if you uh, if you equip certain types of uh, weapons, um, you can get like a specific result for them. Uh, that's quite a bit of damage, actually. Let me see how fast that one is. It's not as fast as the combat knife, but I'll uh, change it up a bit. Go back to go back to uh, uh, swords for a while. I don't know if I want to go through uh, through the game with uh, like a sword rod or anything like that. I don't know how much fun that would be. Right, let's get to a save spot and I think call it an episode. So yeah, I think we explored quite a bit of this place. Not as much as I would have liked, but I was being a bit like, oh, what's the word? Um, I was just kind of being a bit weird, but exploring, having to kill everything and run across from really I don't have to. It's the RPG uh, maniac in me where I've got to, uh, I've got to do it. Oh, whoops. Where I have to kill everything once in an RPG, because usually if you do that in an RPG where you fight every battle at least once, you can basically, uh, you won't have to really grind if you do that. And it's usually just over the course of the game, so it's not like going out of your way to fight unless you do like side quests or stuff like that. So, all right. Well, it's like Richter's been taken over by Shaft's ghost, and he's been defeated for now. But who is truly the lord of this place? Will we be able to fill it out further? Uh, what other enemy, new enemy types and bosses will we find out? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.